Hello there, my name is Shaq. Today I'm going to be talking about dual carriageways. The first question is, what is a dual carriageway? Basically, it is a road, generally with two or more lanes, separated with a central reservation or a barrier of some sort. So on one side of the barrier you get traffic going in one direction and on the other side of the barrier you get traffic going in the opposite direction. Anyway, regardless of the number of lanes, it will remain a single carriageway unless there is a barrier or a central reservation in the middle. The national speed limit for a dual carriageway is 70 miles per hour. Many learner drivers dread the dual carriageways due to their high speeds. In fact, the dual carriageways are far safer than normal residential roads. Most dual carriageways are joined via a roundabout or a road leading onto them. When you join a dual carriageway by a slip road, make sure you increase speed and match the speed of the vehicles on the carriageway. If you are, let's say, try to merge onto the carriageway at 35, 35 miles per hour when other traffic was doing 70, that will be highly dangerous. Also, just before you merge onto the carriageway, try to look over your shoulder slightly, move your chin to your shoulder just like so. Even though you can see that your right hand lane is clear, somebody in the far right hand lane may try to move left into that lane that you want to move right. So that shoulder check is very important. Once you are on the carriageway, once you're on the carriageway, try to keep the left hand lane unless you want to turn right or you're overtaking. If you have to overtake somebody, that's fine, but you must move back in at the first safe opportunity. Driving examiners do expect you to make progress. So do try to keep up with the flow of traffic. If it's a 70 miles an hour dual carriageway, you're expected to get up to at least 50, 55 miles per hour in the driving test. However, please bear in mind the two second rule. You must leave at least a two second gap from you and the driver in front. Now, when you exit the dual carriageway, look out for the countdown markers. 300 yards from the exit, 200 yards from the exit, 100 yards from the exit. Just some information for the younger generation. There is not much difference between yards and meters. Now, once you leave the dual carriageway, make more use of the speedometer than you would normally do. Otherwise, you could find yourself driving a lot faster than you think. I hope you found this video informative. If so, please give it the thumbs up. If you're already one of our subscribers, then well done. If you're not a subscriber, then please do subscribe. Otherwise, you could be missing out on some great tips. Drive safely. Thank you for watching.